Guys, about five years ago, I was working at a company in Melbourne in Australia. Just so you know, I live in Newcastle now. And they built trucks. They built semi-trucks for Kenworth, pack car, basically. There was a factory near that factory with a guy there who had this really cool technology. It was a paint that glows in the dark. So he would paint these lines for the council, for the government, for businesses. He would paint these lines and then in the nighttime, the lines would glow in the dark so cyclists and people could see. Really, really cool technology. But to tell you the truth, everyone thought he was a little crazy because he was telling everyone that he had solar panels that actually were a breakthrough energy device. And he told me in person on numerous occasions that no one would believe him that his solar panels could harvest electricity in the nighttime when there was no sun. Now, I honestly am not an engineer, so I had no idea as to the veracity, the truthfulness of his claims. And I, I just thought, oh, sounds a bit crazy, but who knows? This guy's come up with some pretty cool paint. This stuff glows in the dark. You never know. Maybe these solar panels do work. I forgot all about that conversation. It wasn't until a few days ago that I discovered, well, he was right. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. Great to have you with us. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Electricity generated from solar energy at night using a breakthrough device has been revealed to be not some crackpot, crackpot's idea, but actually true. Now, this is not the same technology that um, was shown to me, but in a way, it provides a similar result. The device uses a special semiconductor to capture the Earth's infrared light and turn it into electricity. Now, there is a lot of infrared light going around. I um, use it to bathe myself in red light therapy. It's great. I highly recommend you do that yourself as well. In fact, guys, I have a red light therapy bracelet on my foot to try and fix my broken foot, which was a mess, absolute mess. The doctors basically said I was never going to be the same. And guess what? I've been running. I ran this week. I ran three kilometers. I swam with my boys. We did a little race. I swam and then we did a little mini triathlon and I ran three kilometers and I'm okay. So it's working. While the idea of generating solar power after the sun has set may seem inc well, impractical and insane, researchers at the University of New South Wales, interesting that this has come out here in Australia, and I wonder if there's a, a correlation between this guy, have found a way to accomplish it. They have developed a new technology that could soon be powering our homes at night. The researchers have already tested this device on planet Earth, and now they are planning to assess its usability in space as well. The technology works on the principle of thermoradiative power generation. This process capitalizes on the temperature difference between the Earth's surface and the coldness of space. All objects, including the Earth, emit infrared radiation. The newly developed device captures the outgoing radiation and converts it into electricity. The key component of this device is a semiconductor, which has been specifically designed to take advantage of this radiant heat. As the Earth emits infrared light, this semiconductor captures this energy and generates an electrical current. By capturing and converting this radiant heat into electricity, the device essentially generates solar power during the nighttime. What we did was we made a semiconductor device. It takes advantage of that radiant heat that's leaving the Earth. And as that light is emitted, it generates some electricity, said the team. According to a press release issued by the researchers, the semiconductor device was a type of thermoradiative diode. Interestingly, the materials that were used to create this device were similar to those found in night vision goggles. In the same way the solar cell can generate electricity by absorbing sunlight emitted from a very hot sun, the thermoradiative diode generates electricity by emitting infrared light into a colder environment said Dr. Phoebe Pierce, one of the researchers on the project. In both cases, the temperature difference is what lets us generate electricity. The efficiency of this new technology is, yeah, well, it's not very good right now, but this is the basically the first iteration. So the team is looking to make some improvements where they think that the efficiency can drastically improve. 
The amount of power generated is pretty, pretty small. It's 100,000 times less than that supplied by a solar panel. But it was an unambiguous demonstration of electrical power, said Professor Erkins Dorks in the press release. And this could be on the precipice of becoming something big. If you think about it, they've basically developed this without artificial intelligence at all. Some sort of neural network training program to actually find ways to improve this could make a huge difference. The research team anticipates that this new technology will have a wide range of applications going beyond the limitations of current energy sources. The professor Eakins Dorks even suggests the possibility of harnessing body heat to generate power. Down the line, this technology could potentially harvest that energy and remove the need for batteries in certain devices, for example, like, like in a watch, or help to recharge them. That isn't something where conventional solar power would necessarily be a viable option, he said. On a larger scale, the team is actively working on adapting the technology for use in spacecraft. Satellites in low Earth orbit experience frequent eclipses, relying on batteries during periods of darkness. Sometimes they can fall as a result. The thermoradiative diode offers a potential solution generating power even in the complete absence of sunlight. We now generate very large quantities of electricity from solar power for our homes using silicon solar cells. That technology which was first used in space in a similar way, we intend to fly the thermoradiative diode in space within the next two years. The breakthrough could pave the way, says Interesting Engineering, for a future where renewable energy is available 24 hours a day. As soon as the sun goes down, then we have different devices to capture this energy. It has the potential to lead to a world where homes are powered even when there is no sun, using nothing but the Earth's own radiant heat. Now, of course, all sounds amazing, but the question is commercialization. Like any new product, it will be expensive at the start, but as production ramps up of some future product, some future iteration, I think this will actually take off. It just makes so much sense to me. I think it will work. Yes, I'm an optimist. Let me know though what you think in the comments below. The coal power revolution that happened in China a few years ago is essentially finished. Solar has well and truly replaced it. The numbers are absolutely staggering. EV curve futurist who you should follow if you're not already following him has revealed this data, which is absolutely insane. China has added one terawatt of solar power over the first three quarters of this year. Coal power plant approvals are, well, they've basically been scrapped over the last few months. Mm -hmm.